While XProtect VMS systems are varied and unique, a common framework for design helps ensure that the system meets your customer surveillance and business objectives. In this video tutorial, you will see the basics of designing a VMS for a small to medium-sized business. First, let's talk a bit about the importance of system design and some key components to consider. Why is system design important? Determining the right specifications is a critical part of designing a surveillance project. We want to ensure that the VMS always performs to the customer's expectations and functions in a stable manner, so no images or recordings are lost. We also have to make sure hardware will not be a bottleneck for achieving our surveillance objectives. Of course, cost is also an important matter for the customer. So we want to find the optimal balance between price and performance. Three key considerations for a good design are image quality, network topology, and storage. Let's look at each of those. Image quality refers to what the video camera captures and what compression settings it is using. We want to optimize quality when assessing our surveillance needs and determining our hardware capacity. It's important to consider the purpose for each camera. What is the area of interest? This will determine the field of view, FOV. What pixel density do we need? Will we use the image for identification or do we need only a general overview of the area? Is it essential to have many frames per second, FPS, or is a lower frame rate sufficient? Network topology plays a critical role in a surveillance system because video streams create a lot of network traffic. To avoid conflicts with other network traffic from our customer's business, we generally recommend separating the cameras from the business network. We also need to consider what kind of power supply we require for the cameras. Most cameras support power over Ethernet (POE) to get network and power in one cable. Some cameras and encoders require a separate power supply. The requirements for storage depend on the amount of video you plan to record and how long you want to keep it. XProtect Professional and XProtect Express must record to storage that is attached directly to the recording server. Archiving can take place on indirect attached storage, such as network attached storage, NAS. The key parameters for storage are disk volume and performance. Now that we've covered some design basics, let's look at a model you can use in your design projects. Using the Milestone Design Model helps ensure high quality in system designs. It's a step-by-step -step guide and checklist for each key step in the design process. Let's look at each step in the process. Identify overall objectives for the VMS installation. What surveillance issues are you trying to solve? What are the major pain points? Determine all scenarios and physical locations for surveillance. Perform a full survey of the installation site. Determine what challenges exist in regard to physical conditions like mounting, lighting, cabling, power, and environmental issues. Consider how each camera will be used, for example, for identification, recognition, general surveillance, etc. Determine the camera requirements based on defined objectives and the site survey. Each camera should assist in meeting an objective. Determine camera placement and resolution. Place cameras with similar functions into groups to make the system design easier to manage. Identify the number and locations of XProtect Smart Client workstations. Determine how many monitors each workstation will have and the maximum number of cameras that will be viewed at each workstation. Identify the basic system capabilities and how to deploy and manage the system. For example, multi or single site deployment, active directory support, remote or mobile access, centralized system management. At this point, you have identified all the requirements for the VMS. We recommend using the XProtect product comparison chart and the product index on www.milestonesys.com to select the product that meets the required functionality. Make sure the required numbers of cameras, servers, and workstations are supported. Specify the network setup for servers and cameras. Determine whether the VMS should be available from the internet. Make a rough bandwidth calculation for all server and client network interfaces and determine whether changes to the network design are necessary. Use the XProtect server calculator to obtain a hardware specification. Evaluate whether the specification meets the customer's requirements and budget. If necessary, reevaluate the design choices and rerun the hardware specification calculation. 
At this point, you can calculate the hardware and labor pricing and deliver a proposal to the customer. Use the reseller price list on My Milestone to determine the licensing costs of Expertech products. If the project is one, the customer may have additional needs or you may suggest various improvements to the solution. You need to reevaluate the design objectives and redo the network and hardware specifications to incorporate those changes before proceeding to outline the installation details. Define roles and permissions for each type or group of users. Determine specific system and operator behaviors the customer requires. For example, what camera views will each role need to see? Who needs to be notified when communication with a device is lost? Finalize your documentation by creating a detailed statement of work, SOW. The SOW sets the customer's expectations in writing with specific details on how the project will be installed. Any work requested by the customer beyond what is documented in the SOW is a change order and additional billable work. You just saw the basics of designing a VMS for a small to medium-sized business. Visit our YouTube site to view other tutorials in this playlist.